we're together 24 <laughs> seven yes. and we're still in the honeymoon phase. So I think that that counts for something. Definitely. And we call those our pulse checks. Yes. I mean, we talk about being heart connected and those are our pulse checks where we make sure that we're still aligning. Mm-hmm. Right. Absolutely. And it's proactive instead of being reactive, which is a key part of this. Knowing that we're not out to get each other. Because another tip number two is realizing that our brains tend to go into negative brain bias, right? It's a human thing. It happens. But we don't have to give in to that. We can recognize it's a trait, but then use what you were just talking about, those pulse checks or that heart connection to say, I don't have to allow my brain to overrule my heart. My heart knows this person. And so I can settle back into my heart and make choices from that heart-centered connection to not flow into the negative thoughts. Oh, I caught you. You're there. Yes, I could react and say, I don't care if you're having a bad day. Your bad day doesn't have to become my bad day. How dare you have your words or your actions seem like you don't have my back or you don't have positive intent? Of course, it would be very easy. But if you're already having a bad day, how are you going to respond to that? Right? We're going to go down a path that isn't going to benefit either one of us. But if I can take that moment and go, wait a second, pulse check. This morning, and clearly this morning, you actually said, when I asked you, how, how are you doing this morning? How are you feeling? You said, I don't know, which to me is one of the best answers in the world because then, you know, tons of room to figure it out. <laughs> but it also let me know that any action today or any words is you discovering and has nothing to do with me. But I have to then constantly return to my heart-centered space and that pulse check and not go to my negative brain bias and allow that to take over. Yeah, that's really good. And I I appreciate you stating that and being aware and recognizing that it is a a discovery because, yes, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we've all been there when we're, sometimes we don't even realize we're having an off day. Sometimes we, it's just, there's so much going on. We haven't really thought about whether it's a good day, a bad day, an off day, an on day. It doesn't, you know, those, that's just not really in the flow. And you're like, you're in the middle of a conversation and you're kind of realizing, oh, you know, I'm, I'm really not feeling that great. Or just the response back from, from you, for example, like when we're talking and I'm like, oh, that's not, that's not the response I, I anticipated. You know, maybe, maybe I'm not communicating well because I'm having more of an off day than I realize. And so that discovery aspect is, is really great. And uh, to me, that is heart forward. That is an intention of seeking to understand versus uh, reacting back to, uh, you know, discovery is always, it, it usually the word discovery has a very high vibrational aspect to it, right? Um, where it's, um, you know, and I think this is to go to call back to the beginning of the podcast when you said, and I don't really like the word assuming, usually assuming has kind of a, a negative connotation to it or a negative or even lower vibrational frequency to it. So I think holding that, holding that space of discovery and, and allowing it to unfold is, is very heart forward. 